Hi, this is Ms. Goldstick from PS11. Today I'm going to be reviewing how to use the area model to solve multiplication problems. As you learned in third grade, the area of a rectangle is length times width. We're going to use that to help us solve multiplication problems of a two-digit number times another two-digit number. The problem I'm going to solve is 63 times 82. First, I'm going to estimate the product. That will help me know if my final product is reasonable. I'm going to round 63 to 60, and I'm going to round 82 to 80. 60 times 80 is 4,800. So my final product of, 30, of 63 times 82 should be close to 4,800. Now I'm going to draw the rectangle that I will find the area or product. 63 is going to be my width, and 82 is going to be my length. However, to make the problem much easier to solve, I'm going to write both of these numbers in expanded form. So 63 becomes 60 plus 3, and 82 becomes 80 plus 2. Now I'm going to find the area of each piece of this rectangle. The first piece is this one right here. And that one has a width of 60 and a length of 80. 60 times 80 is 4,800. The next piece has a width of 60 and a length of 2. 60 times 2 is 120. The third piece has a width of 3 and a length of 80. 3 times 80 is 240. The last piece has a width of 3 and a length of 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Now that I have all of the partial areas, or the area of each part, I'm going to add them together to find the total area, which is also my product. 4,800 plus 120 plus 240 plus 6 equals 5,166. That means that 63 times 82 is 5,166. I know that that's probably correct because it's pretty close to my estimated answer of 4,800. Now you try. Use the area model to solve 73 times 49. Pause this video while you solve. 73 times 49 is 3,577. If you estimate it to check your reasonableness, that's pretty close to 3,500. We just reviewed how to use the area model strategy to help solve two-digit numbers times two-digit number multiplication problems.